might be wondering, hey, I thought she said she was going to be growing her hair out from her big chop. Well, essentially I am. So I did do an undercut only because it's very convenient and with my busy lifestyle as a wife and a mom, I find it much more easier to maintain. Now my hair at the top is Texlax and is doing very well. Um, I must say that it's grown a lot. So I have about three to four inches of uh, new growth and the hair is much more healthier so i will be growing out my hair at the top while maintaining the undercut for now um, but in this video i just wanted to go ahead and demonstrate how i install these three tone ombre box braids for you guys so if you want to see how i do that just keep on watching I ordered three packs of the blue toned ombre hair and i split um, the pack up into eight equal parts to make medium sized plaits for my box braids I just completed the back. The back was really hard for me because um, my hair is still growing. It's not long enough where I can like grip it easily. So um, yeah, so I finished the back um, with a bit of a struggle. Um, you know, just making sure I grip it tight enough to my scalp, things like that. Um, I have 12 more of um, these braids to put in. And I found it easier to section them off by using um, the rubber bands. And I just use these little rubber bands. They're like 99 cents at the 99 cent store or the dollar store or any hair supply store. And I just put them in my hair just to section off my hair to make it easier and faster for me to go ahead and, um, you know, to install the braids. I have a bit of an issue though. Um, I only ordered three packs of this ombre hair. But then um, I think I'm going to be running out of this color. So it might look jacked up, but I'm going to try it anyway. I have a separate pack of hair in a different green tone color. I'm just going to try to fill it in into the center and then use the blue ombre towards the front. It is recommended to do the apple cider vinegar rinse on braiding hair to uh, lessen the um, irritation on your scalp from the uh, chemicals on the hair. But for this uh, time, I didn't do it because I wanted to just to save some time. However, I'm just going to go ahead and talk about the hair real quickly. So as you can see, I'm filling in the middle section with um, the mint green hair, as you know, because I was running out of the blue tone hair. But this color is like a natural black and it radiates to a nice um, minty green. And for the blue tones, it has a natural black at the root and a beautiful blue in the um, second tone. And then it radiates to a nice... Um, baby blue at the end so these colors are really pretty uh, cool tone colors for spring and for summer and the hair comes about 24 inches okay so just as a side note when you detangle the hair with the brush um, you want to achieve a feather tip so what I usually do is take the ends and sort of do that a staggering effect so that it gives it that wispy end so by the time you install this hair you'll have a natural uh, tapered end so I'm gonna go ahead and re <clears throat> re brush the entire hair out just to smooth everything down and to also detangle it so I'm just gonna show you how the ends are going to look now it's gonna go off into this taper effect here I don't know if you can see that all right so it's already tapered off I put a little bit of Eco Styler gel on the on my finger tips and I just apply it to the ends of the hair. And now I'm gonna go ahead and install it. And let me just come up close so you can see. Um, so my hair is really growing healthy. I'm happy about that. I think I'm about three inches in length now. So um, before when I used to braid my hair I used to have a difficult time attaching the braid hair because my hair was so short but it's it's been growing so I'm, I'm very happy about being able to grab my hair better now with the uh, it progressively growing um, longer and healthier so that's a good thing so here I am um, just braiding this in now I haven't barred any of the braiding hair yet but I'm gonna go ahead and do so at this rotation so I'm gonna go ahead and borrow some of the hair and intertwine it with my hair. And I'm just gonna to continue to braid this down. And 
like in the roll and tuck method, I'm still going to roll my natural hair under the hair so it kind of is hidden, so it's not sticking up in the braid. Um, you don't want that sticking up effect in the hair. So I'm just, again, see some, here's my natural hair. There's that stick up. I'm gonna tuck this under, rolling it under the braid hair and tucking it under so it's hidden. And I'm just gonna continue to braid all of that hair down. Now we don't know where tomorrow might bring God the future, the hours away. So me I live my life today. So me I live my life today. Yeah. Oh, oh. I love my life. Oh, oh. I love my life. Oh, oh. I love my life. So me I live my life. Excess hair, the stringy hair, I'm just going to razor it off pre-dipping. Just to give the ends a neater appearance. So once I dip it, all of this is just going to be nice and neat. Okay? So I usually put a tip of oil in the um, boiling water just to um, add some sheen and shine to the ends of the hair while dipping and it really does help to smooth everything down nice and neatly and as you can see I use my, my rag and I just um, pull the hair down so everything can be nice and straight at the ends. Hey love bug, so I hope you enjoyed that mini demonstration of me just installing this braiding hair. I just wanted to mention that um, as a pro, the hair is super, super soft, but as a con, which is a minor one, it can tangle a little bit. And I experienced that when I was braiding down the hair and barring some of the hair while installing it, um, there was a bit of tangling at the ends. So my advice is to try to detangle the hair as best as you can before installing the hair. I was a bit nervous when buying this hair, so I only purchased three packs of the ombre blue and three packs of the ombre mint green because I wasn't sure how many packs I would actually need and through this experience of actually installing this hair and being that I have the undercut I realized that I needed four full packs of hair to fill in all of the top so if you were gonna try this style and you do have an undercut I would suggest you getting four to five packs of hair to be on the safe side. If you're doing a full head, you should get about eight to nine packs of this ombre hair, and that will be enough for you to complete you know, your style. This hair is super affordable. I will leave all the information of where I purchased this hair online for you guys. I love the hair so much. I ended up um, doing this kind of look for my girlfriend, um, and she was, she was in it. She was like, yeah, I want that unicorn, mermaid look in my hair so she ended up doing something with the lavender and the pink and it was really pretty on her so I'll probably show you some pictures of her uh, hair and she's has she has that biracial very nice curly hair so uh, I had a bit of problem uh, installing it in her hair because her, her hair texture is a lot more silkier so I had to really grip it tight enough so that the hair is not gonna fall out so I'll show you a picture of her hair somewhere over here just to see what the mermaid pink lavender color would look like so it's gonna be somewhere over here so if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and um, don't forget guys to hit the notification button for all my new video uploads and as always be blessed and have a great day you guys and thank you guys for watching have a wonderful and beautiful day bye guys Jesus came for the sick. So true. Jesus came for the weak. Amen. Jesus came to give good news and to set the captives free. Amen. Listen. Jesus came for the poor. Amen. Jesus came with the keys. Amen. Jesus came to remove the chains so from the prisoners. Every man is young. Unfailing love. Unfailing love. Everybody's it's not too late. Start over.